Hi, this is Val with Living Divine. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram at Living Divine, L I V I N, no G underscore divine, and on Facebook on at Living Divine Locks and Fitness. I have tons of pictures where you can see my lock journey, my um, health journey, my weight loss journey, and just kind of follow me on those platforms as well as here on YouTube. So, And if you have any questions when you see this video, please ask, please like and share and subscribe to this channel also. So I did a thing last week. <sighs> I can't even begin to tell you how hard it was, but... I actually uh, installed micro locks on my daughter's hair. My daughter has about 18 inches of hair in, in most places and she has very thick hair. So it was a monumental task. It took 48 hours for me to install. So if you watch me, are you following me for my health um, journey, my 12 week health journey? I am still on it. I will put weeks uh, three and four together. I do apologize for that. But after 48 hours of doing hair at four days straight in a row, the last thing I felt like was doing another video. I, you know, it just is what it is. Uh, but I am still on it. Uh, please still continue to follow, do your journeys, do your health journeys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in reference to weight, um, foods, things of that nature, and I absolutely will answer them. Well, I try to put you a quality video together in reference to the health journey. Um, I have lost another pound, so right now I am down uh, seven pounds for the three weeks. I'm going to work on kind of speeding that up, which means I'm going to start adjusting my food intake. I, I know I took in way too many calories when I was doing my daughter's hair, which is why I only have a loss of one pound for last week. So I'm going to adjust that. Uh, and like I said, we're looking for progress, not perfection. I'm just happy that I did not gain weight. Even though I didn't lose as much as I wanted to lose, I still have, um, what is it? Eight, not maybe nine weeks left on, on this particular journey. But I have a lifetime to stay healthy. But I definitely have nine weeks left Um on this journey and I plan on kind of changing what I eat. And I'll talk about that in the next video, in my next um, weight loss, uh, weight challenge kind of video. So back to this video, I install micrologs. I'm going to insert pictures of the installation. I don't know how many locks I install because frankly, I just did not feel like counting it. At some point, she's going to count them for you uh, and let me know. I'm going to feature her on this channel periodically and kind of let you follow her journey as well. So our goal is to just kind of make her, she has beautiful, loose, natural hair. Uh, we installed the micro locks. I think is the shock, you know, a little bit with her because, you know, of course, when you install first install locks, they're compressed, they're thin. So she's got to go through that thickening it up process because she's used to this really big hair. Uh, but I'm going to see what if I can do to, or help her with her lock journey, much like my journey and make her locks look as much like her loose natural as possible without all the work of the detangling process of being a loose natural. Her hair is amazing. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, not everybody's lock journey's the same. And I will show you in pictures her day one and my day one are night and day. Even though she might be a little like, you know, it, it might be a little different for her day one because she's not, she's used to all this big hair. You compare hers to mine and I will have a picture of my day one with her day one. I look like I was going through some kind of medical treatments with my day one. Her day one just looks like a, a head full of curly hair. So, so it's going to be interesting to see and watch her progress. Please follow uh, me on this channel to kind of watch her progress uh, as well. I will kind of, I will show updates of her progress as we uh, keep going um, and she continues to lock. So it's going to be interesting to kind of see that. Also, the method I use for her hair, and I kind of looked at the videos, and it's hard to see with my hands, um, 
kind of blocking the video. So I tried to video some of the method I used, uh, but I actually did a braid and twist method. And on the twist method, I did like a rip and twist. And I'll kind of talk you through that when I show the video, so I'll attach it here. I really hope you enjoy the video, enjoy the process that I went through with her hair. It was an extremely long process. So I will say this. First of all, I am not a loctician, but I do have almost four years of experience with doing my own hair, learning tons um, about locks, uh, learning... Um, how the hair reacts uh, in locks. And I will tell you that I also used to be a cosmetologist and I had my license doing that, but I have not done that in years, but I learned a lot about hair chemistry along the way. So um, it's gonna be interesting to see her hair transition into locks, but she has some micro locks now and they wore me out. I would never do that again. Um, and I'm, I can say that she will have to pay. If, if ever she decides to take them out and get them back, she'll have to pay somebody to do it because 48 hours of doing hair absolutely was not fun, but it was a labor of love. So I will insert pictures of uh, the process we went through, kind of insert, and talk through uh, the actually twist and rip method, which is actually twisting the hair, dividing it up, uh, twisting it again, um, and keep going like that. So it almost tangles while you're twisting it up, which is uh, what I did so her hair would not unravel easily since I, I braided at the root maybe about half an inch. And then I started twisting, doing twi twist and rip method. And at the very, very end, so her hair would not detangle, I braided it up as well. Um, and then we did a, um, after I finished, we braided it up, kind of wet her hair, put her under the dryer so she can get a curlier look so her hair could look fuller. But uh, I just look forward to her journey. So it's going to be amazing. Please follow us on this journey. If you have any questions, let me know. It was absolutely amazing working with her and we had a great bonding experience. But I'm going to tell you, she and I pretty much bonded. So we're never doing this again. <laughs> But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Please enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thanks. So here I am picking out her hair for the very first time. It's washed, uh, very tightly curled. I divided it into, I want to say about 25 sections. And I'm just kind of showing the sections I divided it in using my um, tool. And here I go actually um, measuring out the lock or the, the piece of hair that I'm going to lock. I started off um, with braiding the hair and I braid about an inch or maybe a half an inch down. So. I'm going down with the three sections and actually braiding the hair. Soon you will see after I braid it, and I'll show you a couple examples of this. Um, so those are the three sections that I'm trying to point out, but it's hard to get my hands out of the way. So now I'm showing you the two sections. I combined them into two and I'm actually starting to twist. Now what I do, see how I'm, I'm separating now the twist into an, another twist? I'm actually ripping that section, one of those sections, taking a little part of it and putting it on the other side. So I'm not, I'm making sure that the sections don't have the exact same amount of hair. It's called a rip and twist. So I'm twisting, uh, I go a little down, I add some from one section to the other and continue to twist down. I'm doing it again here. And I do that all the way down. She has um, lots of hair. Her hair is about um, 18 plus inches. So um, it's a process. It took me, I think I said it earlier, 48 hours to do her entire head. So I'm going down, um, doing the rip and twist. And I hope you can kind of see that. It's very difficult for me to get my fingers out of the way so you can see it. But I'll show you, I want to say about three or four examples of me actually doing this rip and twist. 
So I'm going down, um, just twisting the hair, and I'm trying to get the camera where you can, you know, have a better view of it, but because her hair is long. So I'm going to just let you see me doing the, the rip and twist down. And I did the rip and twist rather than braids all the way down is because it would, sometimes it's very difficult for um, the braid pattern to go away. And her hair, she wanted smaller locks than I have. She wanted the full look, but she wants her locks a little bit smaller than mine. And my fear was that if I braided it all the way down, I'd have to braid tightly which would make it very difficult for the full braid pattern to go away. But because her hair is um, relatively soft, I wanted to make sure once I got to the very end, and I'll show you in a minute, that it didn't come up, come loose quickly. So at the very end also, I braided it. So now this is, let's see, am I doing it? Okay, so I'm still braiding it now. I'm starting to um, get to the point where I need to, I'm sorry, I'm still twisting it now, um, getting to the point where it's time to start braiding it so it won't unravel. And again, my fear with her hair is that, with her texture, that it would um, unravel quickly. And I'm going to say part of the issue with her hair also is that as I was twisting, it was getting tangled on the ends um, as well. So I had to kind of deal with those tangles on the ends as I was twisting to make sure it did not come out. Um, so that's what you see me doing, just kind of dealing with the, the tangles on the ends. So now I'm braiding again. I've divided into three sections and I'm braiding the very ends of her hair so it will not, the uh, twist will not unravel. Also, um, although I don't have any defined sections, she wanted defined sections, she wanted lines. Um, lines, I'm not a fan of lines as far as in my hair. So, but I gave her the lines that she wanted, which actually took a little bit longer because I wanted to make sure she had some defined lines for braiding and that kind of things. Where I'm hair lazy and don't do a lot with my hair, she actually does. So I wanted to give her options um, with doing her hair. So I'm braiding to the ends. And then I will show you another um, section of hair once I finish this, this lock. And again, this is a very timely process. I had a very difficult time being consistent as far as, um, well, not being consistent. I had a difficult time with my arms, with my shoulders in reference to that. So I was showing you the two that I've already done. And again, this is the beginning of the process. What I thought was going to be a two-day process ended up being a four-day process. What I'm using right now is a tool um, that measured kind of how the size she wanted her lock. So I just want to make sure that I came close to what she actually wanted. Um, and I made the tool off the computer, just use the 5 16th inch square to make, um, to do her hair. And I'm just kind of pointing it out. Make sure also you have a, um, the rat tail comb has a real pointed end, especially when you want lines, because for me it was real difficult to get lines without having that super pointed end on the, the comb. And also make sure you have some clips to clip the other hair out of the way. So I'm going to show you again um, the process. And it's, it's a real simple process. Like I said, it's just really timely. 
So I'm gonna let you see that. Again, I started with braiding the hair and I'm sorry that I could not get a better view of me actually braiding it, but it's with the three sections. So I braid about an inch, maybe half an inch down before I start the actual twisting process. There I am showing kind of, now I have two sections and I'm starting to twist and I'm doing the rip and twist. So I'm twisting the hair, taking it from uh, one section to the other. There, me, there I am separating it again. Um, and still I have two sections, but I just take it from one section to the other and twist down. And the reason her hair took so long beyond the length is because it was getting tangled on the ends as I was twisting at the top. So the minute I would twist at the top, I'd have to kind of pull my hand down like I'm doing because it would get tangled um, on the ends. And yes, locks are tangles, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to twist it all the way to the ends and... Um, her hair was giving me a fight, that's for sure, <laughs> in reference to making sure that it was twisted all the way to the end. But again, here this uh, here I am, I'm sorry, doing the uh, rip and twist on her hair. I will say when you are uh, getting these micro locks done, uh, pack your patience. Um, have plenty of movies to watch, have some snacks. Even though I'm on this 12 week, um, fitness challenge, I had to really work on, I had to work, um, on, you know, foods to eat to keep me up and going doing this process. So... Again, I'm doing the rip and twist, and I'm showing this several times because um, for me, I need to see demonstrations of people actually doing hair when I locked my hair. I needed to kind of get a visual, so hopefully, uh, I know it's repetitious, but I want to show what, how I did her hair because I'm pretty sure I will get questions later as to exactly what a rip and twist is, so I wanted to show certain sections being done. And again, I'm just going to the bottom, continuing to do the ribbon twist, getting the tangles out before I start the braid. And again, I braid the ends just so her hair won't untangle and it will keep the um, locks in place for the starter locks in place while they're locking. So I'm just doing that and showing you kind of what that looks like uh, from the back. And this is real time, so what you're seeing is actually the time it took to put one lock in. Um, she has since counted her locks, and it, well, her husband counted, and she has 450 locks. So it takes a couple of minutes or several minutes to put one lock in, and again, it took me 48 hours to do her entire head. And if you see some in the background, that's my husband uh, working out. <laughs> so just kind of ignore that if you see a little shadow in the background every now and then. 
That's what he's doing because we've taken over the front room. So I'm pulling them down, just showing you three of the starter locks. Here's just this, the finished product of the starter locks in the back, just to show you the different sections that she does have the, um, the parts that she wanted. We're doing five eight inches. So she does have the parts that she wants. So I will continue and I'm just holding it out just so you can see the work I had to put in. It was work. I'm, her hair was no joke. So here's the back, uh, part of the back done. This is the, I want to say the next day because the curls on the ends, we braided and unbraided it just to keep the uh, sections out of the way when she slept. So uh, this is day two of doing her hair. So I'm going to show you again. And again, like I said, I'm going to show you a couple of times so you can get a close up. So I'm trying to get closer with the camera so you can actually see what I am doing um, in reference to her hair. And see how, see the texture of her hair? It's really soft and, and, and wavy. So it's going to be interesting to see how her hair locks. I think it's going to look absolutely amazing. So this is me again getting three sections and starting the braiding process. So right here, I'm actually now doing the twist, the ripping twist. And I'm going down the hair shaft. There are two sections. And again, I'm taking hair from one side to the other side just to cause more tangles in the hair. And as you know, of course, locks are tangles. So I want it to be as tangled as possible while I go down the um, shaft. I had to adjust the camera because <laughs> Because her hair is so long, it was going out of this out of the screen. So I wanted you to be able to see, actually see a close-up of me doing her hair. And I'm gonna tell you, like I said, this is day two and I am tired. That is an understatement. Again, I'd never take on this task again, but she wanted it and I agreed, but you know, if she decides to change it, uh, sh she'll have to get a lactation and do it again. <laughs> but it was a great bonding experience. Here's me dividing that little bitty hair into three sections and I'm braiding. And I will take it almost to the end. I do leave a little bit out so it can start to, to tangle and mat and all that good stuff. But I do braid it so it won't um, unravel, so the twist won't unravel. Especially with, if you can't see, her hair is um, hers wavy. Uh, it's not really... Um, Kinky, it is wavy. I guess if I had to guess on, you know, on the scale of how they do hair, I would say her hair is a a 4A, 3C. Um, she might have 4B in there, but I don't, I don't think so, honestly. Even though you uh, let her tell it she does, but who hair gets that straight? Um, so 
not with 4B, 4C here. I know I have some um, 4B hair at least. Uh, and, and our hair is not the same. <laughs> so here it is. Here is the lock. And here is the back absolutely completed. I want to say this is day three. Um, there are the sections. Her hair is just ridiculously long. It's ridiculously full. To try to lock all the way down, but we're going to try. So I'm just kind of giving you a view of what it looks like. Okay, so now this is, um, I have three locks left to do on her head. And actually, the reason her hair is down, I actually had it in a, in a braid, you know, because it looks really cute when they have it braided in those little sections. But I was so anxious to see what it looks like, I took it down. Uh, <laughs> and I took it down before I finished. But so I'm doing this, um, the front. I left those to actually do another close up so you can see, give you another demonstration on me braiding. Like I said, it at the roots and then doing a rip and twist at the end. So I will just kind of um, be quiet and let you look at that part. It's kind of, it's the same that I've done all over. Rip and twist and then braid at the very end. So while I'm doing that, just a reminder, not everybody's locks will look the same. I am really excited to see what her locks will look like when they act, her hair actually locks. Not everybody's journey is the same. So B, it's nice to have a lock crush, but you really have to understand, first of all, what your hair will do and enjoy uh, your lock journey. You know, it's it's nice, like for me, I, I like the layers. Uh, my daughter says she's going to keep layers in her ear as well. So, um, but it does not mean someone else, was, else with layers will look exactly like my hair with layers. My daughter's hair, honestly, I expect hers to supersede mine and then some, just because of the texture of her hair, the fullness of her hair, my, her hair is, twice as full as mine when it was loose natural. So I can't imagine what it's going to look like when it's locked. Uh, but I, I'm excited to see it. I really am. I'm going to tell you she was pretty consistent on keeping these parts. And toward the end of the process, I was just ready to be through with it. So I admire anybody uh, with sister locks that you guys have all those parts and um, anyone that goes on this, this lock journey and tries to keep those parts, that, that is some work. You know, it, it, the hairstyles are beautiful. I'm not knocking them, but that is um, quite a bit of work in reference to putting that in. And I can't imagine what someone would have charged her to do a full set of um uh, locks because she got the mama discount which is free but uh, <laughs> but um it it took a lot of work so one side of her hair is done um i have two more on the other side i'm going to finish those up let you see me finish those. And again, she has all her lines. So right now I'm just dividing it 
they actually are already um, kind of sectioned off. So I'm just getting the, I'm gonna get the comb and divide it. And then I'm going to knock out these um, last two sections. And also, please watch to the end. I have pictures of her um, after we, after I finished her hair, we actually put it in braids. I want to say it was about 12 to 15 big braids. I let her get under the shower um, and get it nice and wet. And then she sat under the hair dryer to dry it so she could have a braid out because her hair is so straight, you know, and she's used to bigger hair. She, you know, we wanted it a little bit curlier. So, um, we put it in 12, 12 to 16. I'm not real sure of the number. Uh, she set it on the dryer to dry it. And then we took it out and she took some amazing pictures. And again, I did the same thing with mine on my day one. And again, my day one and her day one are not, <laughs> are not the same. Um, her end results and my end results did not come out the same. So um, I, ju I just honestly cannot wait till she locks. I'm so excited. I probably am more excited um, than she is. Uh, but I will tell you a funny story while I'm doing the um, braid and twist. After I finished doing her hair, and mind you, it took 48 hours. She jumped in the shower or she was trying to, I'm sorry, she was trying to put the... Um, rubber bands on her hair when we did the the braiding band uh, for her to jump in the shower so her hair wouldn't unravel. And she came out and said, you know, you know, she was struggling to put the rubber bands on her hair. And she was like, I don't know, you know, this seems like it's a lot. Um, I probably, I don't know if I made a bad decision. And I'm sitting thinking, girl, I don't worked on your hair for 48 hours. You were going to rock this style for a minute, you know, Maybe next week you're going to take it down for a buff for a minute. You're going to rock this style because uh, I'm tired and, and trust that I'm not helping you take it down. You're going to take it down. So it was um, <laughs> it, it was different for her. But of course, when you get locked, you have to relearn the pro you have to learn a new process. I knew very little about locks when I started. Um, so most of my um, knowledge came from YouTube um, I, I joke about being a graduate of YouTube University in reference to locks. The difference is she does have me, but she got overwhelmed really quickly when she saw how many locks she had and that she didn't have this huge big hair as before. But again, I want to remind you that your hair does not start off as locks. You don't on day one, unless you're insta-locking, um, you don't day one get a lock. You'll get twists or braids or... Um, you can do, um, what is it, free form, but you don't, with those, you don't start off as locks. Insta lock is the closest you can start off with locks on day one, but everything else you start off with uh, starter locks. So you don't have locks yet. You can't, you know, can't compare them to my hair as, you know, or someone else's hair with locks. You have starter locks and it looks different later. So I think just the, she was just overwhelmed at, at, you know, the, the, the hair and the process. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. And, and when I tell you that she called me many, many times on this decision. So I was shocked that she actually went through with it, but she did. She came, uh, down. She doesn't live in the same city as I do. She came down with her husband and said, let's do it. So I was kind of shocked that she decided to, to go ahead and go through with it. But I told her I would do it if she decided to. She decided to. So here I am on finally the last lock. So again, we're braiding. And the reason I braid the uh, roots is to help um, with the slippage. You know, um, 
to make sure that it's harder for to for you to get her to have slippage at the roots because of the texture of her hair um, I think her hair would probably be prone to more slippage than maybe uh, someone with a um, a tighter texture curl pattern so I wanted to help um, with that especially since her her hair is wavy so that's why I started with the braids and then um, did twists and then braids again at the end just to really make sure that the parts stayed where they were the uh, slippage was minimal since I knew I was going to do the do twists and that's why I had this combination in reference to her hair as opposed to mine that had um, braids. Um, and I will say, even on mine, some of my braids were so tight, I had to take them, take a few of them down and just come in with twists because the braid pattern wasn't going anywhere. That's why I knew if, if I was struggling, she would struggle. So again, I'm, I'm doing the ends of her hair, doing that final... Um, braid to keep it in there and I'm telling you I think I wanted to cry at this point because it her hair gave me the blues I don't know if you can tell by my fingers all cramped up but <laughs> by the time we ended um everything on my body hurt you the standing sitting my shoulders my fingers everything hurt so it was a process I just admire anybody that actually does this for a living I yeah not me <laughs> but it was definitely a process and I'd love to be able to talk people through it I just am not one to actually uh, do it myself but I definitely can give you tips and advice and show you how to um, do it and I definitely will have her um, on my channel so we can follow her journey and see you know, what all this lusciousness turns out to be once her hair actually locks. So I will definitely give you like monthly updates on her lock journey so you can watch it uh, fluff up and get big and get full because much like me, we're going to break most of the rules in reference to locks. The only thing she really will stick to is no conditioner at the beginning of her journey. So her hair won't slip, but the minute her hair starts locking, she's going to be like me and put, you know, um, put condition on. Now, this is me. I have to quickly jump in there. I know I look crusty, but I was tired, you know, <laughs> um, to say I am through. Oh my God. And again, her hair looks thin, but trust me, her hair is thick. That is a lot of hair and it was a lot of work for sure. But there it is. I finally finished. And I'm just kind of showing you uh, what it looks like from all angles with the parts that she wanted. It was, yeah, it was some work. So I'm just kind of fluffing it up for her before she actually sees it because she has not seen it yet. And just kind of letting you see what it looks like. And again, just hold on. I'll show you pictures. So here she is. Isn't that amazing? Her hair is so curly and oh my God, we are nothing alike in that. This is her and her husband, such a beautiful couple. Please like and subscribe and share.